Okay, well, good morning. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. And you know something? You never can tell where I'm going to be when I share with you information. It seems like all through the day, things happen, and um, they're very important principles that happen to all of us as human beings. Now, if you notice, I'm driving in the car right now, and you might say, well, <laughs> hey, Mark, what's, what's up with that? Well, this video is about the concept of forgetting. That's right, forgetting. And you know what forget means. It means that um, you have something you want to remember, and you make it a point in your mind, and uh, uh, you make plans to do it, and something happens, and you can forget. Now, for, so forgetting is when all of a sudden what you wanted to remember and what you wanted to do, it vanishes. It's like an amnesia. Uh, it just disappears. Uh, so case in point, have, have you ever uh, wanted to go, well, I'm going to share a story with you. I, I, I have to be like up front, but, uh, so <clears throat> there was a meeting today at eight o'clock in the morning and the person, uh, that I'm to meet with told me, Mark, remember to bring your computer cause we have to go over some things. So <clears throat> I have two bags at home one bag for my computer and another bag for peripherals, okay? I usually take both of them with me. And I didn't sleep so well last night and I got everything all ready to go and I packed up the car and left and went to Starbucks where I sometimes have to use internet service because we don't get such a good uh, service out in the country. And so guess what? I get to Starbucks, a 20-minute drive at about five minutes of eight. I reach down to get my computer bags, and guess what? One of them isn't there. Now, I had the bag with the peripherals, but I forgot the bag with the computer and all the electrical cords and all of that. Okay, so what's the point? Okay. The point is, especially when it comes to aphasia, that w uh, people with aphasia forget words and forget things and don't remember things, and they're a lot worse off than most people who do not have aphasia or strokes, okay? So what happens with aphasia quite often is that you can teach a person with aphasia something and the next day can come and guess what? The concept that you taught them is forgotten. And you go, oh my goodness. Now therapists know about this because they see patients with aphasia all the time. And they'll work on something with them in the therapy room, you know. And the next time they come back two days later or three days later or a week later, they come back and guess what? It's forgotten. It's forgotten. All right. So we know then that people with aphasia, as well as people who are supposedly normal... <laughs> And, and I'll say supposedly, um, we all forget. You forget, I forget, person with aphasia forgets. Now, so the question is, what do we do about that? Because what happens is that a lot of people go to speech therapy two, three times a week for aphasia, and they may go for a half hour, 45 minutes, or an hour, and then they leave, and quite often, a half hour later, 
A day later, they forget. It's just normal. It's normal for normal people. But it's even worse for many people with aphasia. Okay, so what's the solution? The solution to it is plain and simple. The reason why the teaching of talking was developed was because this is already realized, the process of forgetting. And so when we train caregivers, we want them to go over the material, go over the words, go over the phrases, go over the sentences every day, over and over again, and then over and over again, and then over and over again, Monday again, Tuesday again, Wednesday again, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the second week, the same thing, the third week, the same thing, and the fourth week, the same thing. So what we know is that people with aphasia can learn, and they can learn how to speak again. And the reason why the literature tells us that the intensity of the therapy is so important is because of the process of forgetting. And they can learn, but it's like uh, a spaghetti sieve. Now, many of you know what a spaghetti sieve is. You, you boil your spaghetti, then you put it in the sieve, and what happens? The water, it, it, it runs off, okay? And that's what happens a lot with information, especially with those who have aphasia. You teach them something, and the information leaks out. And that's one of the reasons why we train caregivers, because if a caregiver reviews something and works on words and works on phrases and works on sentences and does that each and every day, the chances of remembering are much, much better. And <laughs> that's how it works. And, and if for any reason a, a, a person is in a situation and the word doesn't come, well, the, the care partner, the caregiver, or the spouse knows the words and helps trigger those words. So that's how this all works. And so therefore, hey, guess what? Here's my darling wife. I'm, I'm riding back towards the, the, the RV park. And look, there's my, she's walked like a half a mile to meet me, to give me my computer. Now that's when you know you've got a good wife. That's when you know you have a great partner. And if you have a great partner, your partner will help you when you forget. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, wishing you a great day. And don't forget, we have um, uh, some free classes coming on Facebook. Oh, she wants to give me a kiss now. Ah, we have we have a, a, a Facebook Live coming up, and uh, you'll make sure you're on it. Okay, bye bye now.